Not even AI knows just how many pizzerias exist in New York City. In fact, if you ask this question to ChatGPT, it comes back and says, enough to feed a small Latin American country. What's good, bro? I'm Luis Gusto, back with another New York City pizza crawl. Last year, I took y'all on a pizza crawl in Manhattan, and we went to all the basic spots, all the first pizzerias that turn up when you make your very first New York City pizza Google search. But we found the key to the secret pizza oven and have advanced to that next level. Starting with Village Square Pizza in the East, Village on regular pizza. We'll be hitting up two Brooklyn transplants, Lindustry and Lucia. Then we'll also be going to Manhattan's newest pizzeria, Mama's 2. Finesse that like button to let the world know that you're a platinum subscriber and let's start eating some pizza. All right, our very first Manhattan pizza stop of the day is at Village Square Pizza in the East Village. They're actually pretty famous and got a few locations around Manhattan, but we wanted to come to the number one spot today, right here on Avenue A, across the street from Tompkins Square Park, one of my personal favorite parks. But instead of eating the slices in the park, we got them right here on the counter, in front of this brick and cool neon sign. And we got two of the most famous slices, the pepperoni with hot honey. It's got that cup and char pepperoni with some hot honey on top, and also a vodka slice, both in square, Hence the name Village Square Pizza. Starting off the day with two heavy hitters. Just like many Manhattan slice joints, all the pies are on display. So you get to see what you want to eat. You choose it, they throw it in the oven for a little bit so it comes out piping hot. All right. First up, we got this beautiful square pepperoni slice. Probably gonna fall everywhere once I take a bite, but I'll do my best to make it neat. Mmm. It's a pretty light slice. You think it's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be greasy, but it's not. It's super light, very crispy. The pepperoni cupped and charred, got the hot honey on top. A couple of years ago, I would have been a skeptic on hot honey on pizza, especially pepperoni, but I'm sold. I've had it enough times where I could say, you know what, it's a pretty stupendous combination. Cover me in hot honey and call me a pepperoni. That's a good slice. Next up, we got the vodka slice. This has a nice vodka sauce and some cheese. It's a very Italian combination, not to be confused with the Puerto Rican rum sauce that goes on a Puerto Rican pasta. <laughs> you can see it's nice and orange, got some fresh mozzarella on there. Hey, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Just like the pepperoni slice, this vodka slice is light, it's crispy, that vodka sauce is creamy, super warm from the oven. I love cold pizza in the morning, but not at lunchtime. These are two award-winning pizza slices in my book. Village Square Pizza also offers margarita slices, there's meatless, there's meat lovers, pretty much anything your pizza loving heart could desire you could find here in this shop. And Village Square Pizza is that next level. Mm. It's fluffy and crispy at the same time and overall a light slice. It's not gonna bog your stomach down. It's not gonna feel like a be belly bomb, but it's incredibly delicious and just, Real fun to eat. Also, don't worry, if you got your AA chip, the vodka slice is not gonna make you relapse. The next pizzeria is Unregular Pizza, which is a stone's throw away from Union Square. Now, they're known for their very basic, straightforward pizza pies. Nah, I'm playing. Of course, it's unregular pizza, bro. We got a burra pizza slice, prosciutto, e artichoke, cherry tomato, confit, mozzarella. And we also got the meat dream, which sounds like an Aqua Teen episode that I once saw. That one's got meatball sauce, pepperoni, sausage, mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce. Put them in this box so we could film it outside where the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and the exhaust is fuming. This is the burra pizza slice. I can see the prosciutto, the artichoke hearts, the cherry tomato confit, obviously that whole burrata, which we had to slice and spread all over. I'm gonna try to get a bite with a little bit of everything. It looks like a geography lesson right here. Mmm. Mmm. 
Damn. One thing I notice about unregular pizza is that people's reactions as they walk by is off the charts. They're like oohs and ahs. This is not something I've seen at any other pizzeria in the Big Apple, and I've been to a lot. This slice though, is like an entire meal on a pizza pie. It's a little bit more dense, but still very crispy. And that combination of flavors, sorry to be cliche, but the prosciutto, artichoke hearts, cherry tomato confit, very sharp flavors. Uh, like acidic, but then that burrata creaminess cools everything down. Sometimes when you see a pizza that's so complex like this with maybe four or five different toppings, you kind of think to yourself, well, it's for fun, it's for the gram, but this actually works from a culinary perspective. My taste buds are lighting up like a pinball machine and it feels good. Past the quarters. It was really difficult to choose a second slice in there because they have so many cool creations, but I ended up going with the meat dream it's basically like a supreme pizza without peppers and onions. Pretty standard, but I'm hoping they amped up the flavors. Let's go. Mmm. That's a lot of sauce. Wow. Yo, I gotta say, this is just a fun slice to eat. It reminds me of being a kid and eating Italian food, spaghetti and meatballs, Chef Boyardee raviolis and everything, because it's just like a bomb of Italian flavors. I taste a lot of basil in here. I taste the olive oil, the sharpness of the pepperoni, the sweet sausage, and the tomato sauce. The meatball sauce, just two sauces combined, it's a lot of sauce. You might get lost in it, one would say. Mmm. We're off to a cheesy, saucy, and meaty start here in Manhattan. Two pizzerias, four slices of pizza. Each and every one could not be more different, but they've all been delicious. And if you're watching this, you are a certified platinum member. Make sure you drop a comment and let me know what your favorite type of pizza is. We get a plain slice and a vodka slice. From Union Square to Soho, we're at our first Brooklyn Pizzeria transplant. It's Lucia of Soho. Gusto again, y'all remember, we went to Lucia of Avenue X in Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn. We had a couple of their slices and their mozzarella sticks, garlic knots. Today, we got a plain slice and a vodka slice. Last time I heard, a lot of people ordered that vodka slice, so I figured, you know what, next time I had Lucia pizza, I'm gonna grab that vodka slice. It's our second vodka slice of the day. That's a new world record. What's special about their pizza, besides this amazing looking crust, the sauce and the cheese, is that they finish them all off with a dash of olive oil and some fresh basil. Not many pizzerias are gonna do that here in New York City, believe it or not. Let's start with that plain slice. Mm. We've also got some sprinkling of some grated Parmesan on here. This is a quintessential New York City plain slice of pizza. The tomato and the cheese is all you need on this one. It's thin, it's crispy, it's not flopping around. And that basil, wow, talk about herbal magic. It really, really enhances this pizza and brings it to that whole other dimension. Now, I told you I want to try this vodka slice and I don't want it to get cold on me. This one had a lot of basil on it. We started our day with the funky square slices and now we're going more traditional New York with the triangular slices. Got the vodka sauce on there with some cheese, a lot of fresh basil, and some wind to cool it down slightly so it doesn't burn the roof of my mouth. Mmm. 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 Wow. Yo, I could definitely see why everyone was ordering this vodka slice when we were in Brooklyn. It is phenomenal. The vodka sauce is creamy, the cheese is cheesy, and the crust, you guessed it, is crusty. I'm telling you that olive oil and basil are like the sixth and seventh man off the bench. They really make this pie a world champion. Even though all this traffic and activity and people selling fake bags, I'm enjoying my pizza. This is my second time having Lucia pizza, once in Brooklyn, once in Manhattan. I'm thinking next time I gotta order the whole pie. I really appreciate that the crust is not bland, it's not dry and boring. It's got a little oil, it's crispy. It's kind of like eating a breadstick at the end of your slice. Now, there's a couple of things y'all might notice in other food videos you see all over social media. Number one, the big one is voiceovers. A lot, a lot of voiceovers. That's not really my thing. 
I don't need to eat food, then run home, bust out the thesaurus so I can write a colorfully worded review. I can eat the food, experience it with y'all, and talk to you at the restaurant. I can give you my honest initial impressions of the food as well as what I think of the overall experience. That's just what I do. Another thing y'all might see is the shots of the food whole. Everything served nice and pretty, maybe one bite, and that's the end of the video. I'm here to show y'all that we actually eat all the pizza we get and other foods because we only go to our favorite spots. You see there's a little bit left of this vodka. I'm about to finish it off though, so cut. If you're counting along at home or wherever you might be watching this on your mobile device, that's six slices of New York pizza we've put down today. It's nowhere near a world record though. Don't worry, we got more pizza coming up. They say you can't get a good slice of pizza in Manhattan anymore, but I think that's patently false, my boys, because we're proving that today. Man, that vodka slice is really, really my favorite so far. Make sure you subscribe if you love videos like this because we're all about the food and travel. You want to be a platinum member? Just hit that little button. It's time for a slice from another Brooklyn transplant pizzeria, this time Lindustry. And this one's just as busy as the Williamsburg location, although it's a little bit more spacious on the inside. They're playing some 70s disco and got some remixed Rocky photos in there. And they're churning out pies like it's their job, because it is their job. I was looking for anchovy on the menu, which is my personal favorite slice. It didn't look like they had it, so we went with a spicy salami. They finished everything off with a dash of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, brrr, all on top and fresh basil with a little bit of olive oil drizzled on top. Makes for an excellent pizza experience here in the West Village. Spicy salami. Mm. Hmm. Lindustry is definitely one of my favorite pizzerias in all of New York City. The underside is nice and charred. It's a crispy, thin slice. And this is the first time I'm having a spicy salami. It's definitely a winner in my book. Can't say much more. It's just a phenomenal slice of pizza. You got to try it yourself. Tell them that Louis Gusto sent you. No, really, really tell them because then I get commission. I'm playing. I don't get commission. I'm doing this for the love. No matter if you're going to Lindustry in Brooklyn or here in the West Village, you're more than likely going to have to wait online. Don't let the haters fool you and say, oh, it's not worth waiting in life for pizza. When it comes to Lindustry, it definitely is. And this spicy salami is now one of my new favorites in all of the Big Apple. Gotta save some for Narissa though. Mmm, it's so crispy, unbelievably crispy. Another line at another West Village pizzeria, this time Mama's 2. Today we've had some Roman style pizza, some Sicilian pizza, traditional New York slices. Mama's 2 is all about the Motor City, that Detroit style pizza, super thick, square, a lot of sauce. Mama's 2 started off on the Upper West Side, you know, that's that neighborhood right next to Central Park, but they just opened up a few days ago here in the West Village. That's why there's a line. That's T-O-O, -O, not T-W-O. There is no Mama's one, so don't ask. We figured since we had to wait in line for this pizza, we would get three of the signature slices. We got the cacio e pepe with four, yes, count them, four different types of cheeses and cracked black pepper. We got the poached pear, which is a dessert pizza. It's got pear, gorgonzola dolce, and some house-made hot honey, and one of the most famous slices, the angry nona with plum tomato sauce, spicy sopressata, and more of that house-made hot honey. All right. Oh, man. Mm. It's been a nice week of working out. I'm still in that bulking season. So I'm gonna start off with the angry nona. That spicy sopressata, got some uh, hot honey on there and plum tomato sauce. Bon appetit. Like a typical Detroit style pizza, you got the caramelized edge, a nice huge dollop of sauce on top. That spicy sopressata and hot honey are going together like Eric B and Rakim. This slice is pretty interesting. It's the cacio e pepe, which typically you find on pasta. It's got four different types of cheeses, including some Parmesan, mozzarella, and some cracked black pepper. A lot of black pepper on there. Like you could see all that pepper. It's a lot. It's pretty light though, for all that cheese that's on there. 
bottom looking like a nice focaccia. If I had a good amount of cacio e pepe pasta, I've not had it on a pizza yet. Mm. Mm. Wow. Damn. Super crispy. Mm. It's a cheese lover's dream. I know there's Parmesan and mozzarella, but I'm not sure about the other two cheeses on here. It tastes exactly like cacio e pepe pasta, except instead of the pasta, you got this crispy pizza crust underneath. I was skeptical about this one, I gotta admit, but I saw the popularity online of it and I said, you know what? If it's one of their specialties, I gotta try it out myself. If you're into these combinations, definitely try this pizza. I think you can't go wrong. And now it's time for a dessert pizza. It's another first for me, poached pear on pizza with gorgonzola dolce and more hot honey. But this is not Mike's, it's house made by Mama and Family. Remember that sitcom Mama's Family? Mmm. Mmm. Wow, like nothing I've ever had. I've tried a lot of pizza, especially here in New York City. The poached pear, gorgonzola, and hot honey together. My brain is trying to figure this pizza out. It's trying to do the calculations and figure out like which way it's leaning. Is it spicy? Is it sweet? Is it tender? Is it dessert? It's a little bit of everything in one slice. It's kind of like an apple pie type of deal, but with spicy honey, I, I can't explain it. G give me a second. So we got three slices of Mama's 2 Detroit style here. The Angry Nona is a little bit more traditional, spicy sopressata, but the sauce has very like warm spices in there. Then the cacio e pepe is super, super cheesy, like a pasta transformed into a pizza. And that poached pear completing the trifecta, that dessert pizza coming through. Never had a dessert pizza, never really thought I wanted one, but when you're eating pizza all day in Manhattan, you gotta go a little non-traditional, outside the lines as they say, try something new and different. And the Mamas too, they're definitely bringing something different to New York City pizza. If I had to pick a winner out of all these three slices, I would go with the cacio e pepe, but they're honestly all very good. Yo, I hope y'all enjoyed this pizza tour of Manhattan. Don't hate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.